This online class is focused on bringing balance and cultivating well-being within the nervous system. In particular, we're going to be paying attention to a branch of the peripheral nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. There are further two parts to the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic, which is our fight or flight or that stress mode, and the parasympathetic, which is the rest and digest. Today's practice is focused on finding a balance between the sympathetic, where a lot of us live constantly in fight or flight mode, and the parasympathetic. For that, we will be using the breath and physical movement to communicate to our nervous system that all is well. Did you know that on average we take 18,000 to 23,000 breaths per day? And how many of those breaths do you think are conscious? Practicing correct and mindful breathing and moving the body in a way that feels good is a great way to move out of our flight or fight mode and begin to feel more well, happy and balanced, mind, body and spirit. All right, thank you guys for joining me again. So we're going to begin in our comfortable seat. You can rest your hands on your knees, downwards, upwards, doesn't matter what it is, but go ahead and lengthen through the spine. Close the eyes for a moment. As you lengthen through the spine, go ahead and just draw the belly in just a little bit and then lengthen the back of the neck. Drop those shoulders down. So before we begin, I just want to get you into that rhythm and flow of breath that we've been practicing throughout this series. So as and when you become comfortable, breathing in and out through the nostrils, I want you to inhale and fill the belly up. And then slow exhale out. Inhale, fill the belly like a balloon. Slow exhale as if you were slowly releasing the air out. One more all the way into the belly. Slow exhale out. Well, this time as we inhale, we're going to draw the breath into the belly and then roll it up to the ribs. Feel the ribs expand outwards. And then slow release out. Doing this three more times. Inhale, belly, flow it up to mid torso. Feel the ribs expand. Slow exhale. Keep on going in your own time. Last time, up to the ribs. Full exhale out. This time we treble the breath all the way up to the collarbones. So we inhale belly, float up to the ribs, feel them expand out, and then all the way up to the chest, feel the chest open. And exhale. Keep on going big, inhale, fill the torso. Feel the chest rise as you inhale all the way up. And exhale. Last time, big inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands together. Lightly press your thumbs against your chest. And then go ahead and blink open the eyes. All right, our first little sequence following along with me. As you inhale, lift the fingers so that they're in front of the face and close the elbows. As you exhale, press the hands back down to the chest, open the heels of the hands so just your fingertips are touching. As you inhale next, interlace the fingers and then draw the arms up overhead. So flip the palms. On your exhale, release the hands, arms open wide. Beautiful. Let's do that again. Palms together. 
Inhale, hands lift, elbows close. Exhale, elbows open, heels of the hands open too. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms, take a big inhale up. And exhale, open wide. So this time with real focus on the breath, full torso breathing, inhale, elbows close. Exhale, elbows open. Inhale, interlace, flip the palms, big lift up. Slow exhale, arms come down slowly so the end of your exhale, fingertips touch the floor. In your own time, close your eyes if you wish. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, open. Three more in your own time, just going to your own breath count. Make that exhale last as long as you can. No rush to get anywhere. Finishing the one you're on and doing one more. Once you're finished, just sitting quietly, arms resting in your lap, eyes closed, focusing on that breath into the torso. As you begin to move forward onto hands and knees, feel free to keep the eyes closed or you can open them as you move if you like. Maybe just move the pillow out the way if you've got one under you. And go ahead and sink the hips down into child's pose and just rest here for a moment. Practicing those nice deep full breaths in and out. Go ahead and walk your fingertips forward so that your elbows lift. So we're in an active child's pose. Our next little movement sequence. On our inhale, we're going to rise up onto our hands and knees. We're going to tuck the toes and exhale, lift into downward facing dog. So that's it. We're just going to breathe in and out and move from child pose to down dog. Next, inhale, lower the knees to the floor. Exhale, child's pose. Keep on going. Inhale, fill the torso. Same breath. Exhale, push up, downward facing dog. Full release of breath out. Inhale, lower the knees. Exhale, child's pose. Keep going in your own time. Just following the trail of your breath to lift and then lower. Really focusing on filling the torso and then emptying out completely. Nice, deep, full breaths in and out. And you'll find for yourself that there's a natural rhythm and flow as to how fast or how slow you move, depending on how long your breath is. Or 
all this breathing, communicating to the body that you're safe, that you're well, that you're okay. So the body can focus on doing all the things it needs to do, like rest, digest, metabolism, reproductive organs, all that kind of stuff. Next time you find yourself in downward facing dog, just pause there. Feel free to pedal the heels, move around, breathe big. Take one more nice deep full breath in, full exhale out. And then go ahead and step up to the top of your mat. And just pause here for a moment. We'll take three breaths, big breaths in and out, just hanging out in our forward fold. Feel free to take ragdoll if you like, sway from side to side, whatever feels nice. Last breath in and out. And then just slowly release arms if you've taken hold and slowly unwind up to standing. Once you're there, roll the shoulders. All right, Lucy and Matt, I'll get you just to step to the back of your mat just a little bit so we can have nice white arms again. Beautiful. Standing up nice and tall, arms down by your side. Straighten up and click into place into your Tadasana, your mountain pose, belly in, tailbone down, chest lifted, shoulders drawing down the back. Take an inhale, sweep the arms open wide. And then as you exhale, feel free to bend the knees, but keep the back nice and long as you dive down. On your inhale, come to your halfway lift with your flat back, chest forward, belly in, and exhale. From here, we're going to reverse swan dive, so feel free to bend the knees, but we're going to have a nice flat back as we inhale, open the arms wide as we come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center, and release the arms down. Let's try that again. Big inhale, fill up the torso. Exhale, slow release as you dive down, take your time. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back, belly in, and exhale. Reverse swan dive, big inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we begin again, in your own time, big inhale, lift. Exhale, diving when you're ready. Nice flat back as you halfway lift. And release. Reverse swan dive all the way up. Take up all the space around you. And exhale. Beautiful. Start again when you're ready. Three more rounds in your own time. Last round.
Once you're finished, just standing quietly, arms down alongside you, eyes closed. Still practicing those nice deep breaths, filling the torso. Gently blinking open the eyes. And go ahead and find a comfortable seat. Feel free to sit on your cushion. Legs crossed, legs extended, doesn't matter what, as long as you're comfortable. Go ahead and anchor down through the sit bones and then grow the spine nice and tall as you roll the shoulders down, lengthen the back of your neck. And just rest your palms on your knees or your lap. Facing up or down, whatever feels best. Eyes closed. And then just allow yourself to sink back into that breath. Inhale to the belly. Roll it up to the ribs. Feel them expand out. Rolling up to the chest. Feel the chest rise. Whole torso full. And then slow exhale as you empty. Keep going in your own time. And then I'd like to invite you just to let that breath go. Allow the breath to just settle into its natural rhythm and flow. Doesn't have to be deep or long now, just natural. Bring your palms together. Lightly press your thumbs against heart center. Bring your chin to your chest. Lift your thumbs to your forehead. Honoring yourself and your practice today. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.